But I decided to suit up for you. I decided to put on a suit tonight, dress up. Why not? Yes, thank you. Guys. Looks great. Thank you. I started, uh, I started wearing a suit on stage to perform comedy when I started hearing phrases involving clothes, like I heard, uh, the clothes make the man. Have you all heard that? You obviously have not heard that or you're doing it wrong. Um, I heard this. I heard dress for the job you want, not the job you have. And right after hearing it, I saw a woman dressed for the body she wanted, not the one she had. Sometimes loose fitting is better. I'll tell you this, if I ever start to think that humanity is uh, intelligent and good, uh, uh, the collective is an is intelligent organism, uh, all I do is I put something on Craigslist for free and try and give it away. Yeah, that resets me to a zero right there. That's what's all. I tried to give away a couch on Craigslist. A couch. I wrote up an ad. Free couch. Here's my address. It's on the curb. First email I got, dude, I'm interested in your couch. What's your address? I'll come get it. No, nope, you're too stupid to own my couch. <laughs> you can't have it. You would probably tip it over on yourself somehow and try and sue me. You can't have it. <laughs> next. Open up the next email. There we go. Does it come with a warranty? Yes! Yes, my used couch comes with a warranty. How about this? If you don't like it within 30 days, bring it back. I guarantee I will hit you in the face with an oar. <laughs> I want to get rid of the couch. It's in front of my... Uh, so I finally, I'll open up the final email I'm going to read. I'll open up, okay, here we go. Is it the couch in the picture? No! <laughs> Why would I put a picture of the couch I'm giving away in the ad I'm using? That's a random couch. In fact, I'm not even giving away a couch. I'm giving away a bicycle. Gotcha! <laughs> I, I put a sign on it. It's front of my house. I put a sign. Free couch. It sat there for four days doing nothing. Yes, I took the sign in, wrote couch, $20, inquire within. Someone stole it overnight. <laughs> That is where we are at, humanity. That is where we are at. Did you know that Chuck E. Cheese has both security and a backroom lockup? Yeah, so if you're going there to meet your wife and child, say, oh, I'm meeting my wife and child. Because if you walk in and go, oh, just browsing, uh... <laughs> I don't have a sense of humor about that. I do. I have a little baby daughter, Pants, and uh, she goes to daycare, and some other women are here, and they are beautiful, wonderful women, because uh, they, they, they work with kids so often they can diagnose diseases. Like, uh, we thought my daughter was teething, we took her to daycare, and they called and said, no, she has hand-foot-mouth disease. So we took her to the doctor, and they said, yes, she has hand And I said, okay, what is that? They said, well, she'll get little red spots, and they'll fade. And I said, well, is it communicable? And she goes, oh, no, adults don't get it, unless you never had it as a child. around with a toddler disease and it, like my hands but there's still little fades here but they, they turned all red and then all the skin started peeling off I looked like a leper and I, I went to the grocery store I had my hands on the cart and this nosy woman's looking at me and instead of inquiring what happened she just looked at me and said you were touching yourself weren't you <laughs> And so I said, yes, for 30 years now, and if this is the worst God can do, it was worth it. <laughs> I love my little baby daughter, Pants, I do. I think she's very talented. Uh, maybe the women at daycare can attest to this. My daughter has the ability to poop out of her diaper, up the front of her body, all the way to her chin. What are you groaning for? You don't think that's talent? I'm a grown-ass man, I can't do that. Uh, the first time I saw it, I didn't know whether I should be excited or alarmed. I'm like, I don't know if that's normal or not. I, I had to ask a doctor for clarification. And I, I don't mean in the moment, I didn't 911, doc, the poop's everywhere, but, you know, we took her in for a service check and he looked her over and that was, that was, Service, a tune-up where you kick her tires and make sure she's good. A, a, a well check. We took her in for a well check. The doctor looked her over, gave her thumbs up, and said, do you have any questions before I leave the room? And I said, well, I have one. The poop comes out back here. How does it end up here? 
And the doctor said, that's actually a very good question. You see, when she's in her diaper, the poop doesn't have anywhere to go. So her vagina acts as sort of a conduit. An irrigation ditch, if you will, that allows the poop to flow. And I said, Doc, thank you. I have never been happier to have been born a boy. Because that makes balls nature's mud flap. That's the point I'm trying to make right now, is don't eat with vegans. I tried ordering pizza with my vegan friend. Pizza, it's simple. Pizza, he started complaining. Well, make sure it doesn't have any cheese on it, and you know, the dough can't have milk or eggs in it. I'm like, food? Are you saying you don't want food in our food? <laughs> we ended up ordering the pizza. I ate it. I gave him the box. Eat up, dumbass. <laughs> box has fiber. <laughs> Try and be politically correct while I'm up here. I do uh, pro-gay, anti-vegan, things we can all get behind. Um, I don't know that I always succeed when I'm politically correct, because I get confused. I get confused by the hyphens. I know what I'm supposed to say, but I don't like, I know you can't say black, you have to say African-American. You can't say Mexican, you have to say Hispanic American. You can't say Muslim, you have to say terrorist American. It's all very... 